published twice, and I've got one produced screenplay. And I've got four other screenplays that will never see the light of day, no matter how hard I shopped them around. But even that, even those huge failures, hundreds of hours that you would consider wasted, even that turned into an improvement of what I would call what I hate. I don't have a lot of tolerance for people who call it their craft. It just seems superficial to me. It's just, this is just what we do. You can call yourself a creative, you can call it your craft, but you're a writer, is what you are. So if you want to call it your craft, fine, but I'm not going to do it. It just sounds pretentious to me. No offense to anybody. Um, even the massive failures, if that doesn't direct you toward an improvement in your writing, then you're doing it wrong. So I learned how to sculpt a script by failing at it a hundred times. And rewrite. If, you don't, if you're going to write a movie script, you better be prepared to rewrite it at least 30 times. And that's if you're lucky. Because if someone does get a hold of it, and then somebody else gets a hold of it, and you get lucky enough to find a producer, you're going to rewrite it 30 more. And you're going to... The failures... It sounds cliche, but the failures are almost more important than the successes. Because I've made contacts I wouldn't have made. I've learned things I wouldn't have learned. I've got a big scathing email from a producer in Vancouver, and he thought it was scathing. I thought it was education. He pointed out everything that was wrong with this god-awful script I wrote in 2009. And who might argue? I hadn't, hadn't sold a script to a major studio. I don't know what I'm doing. And so I thanked him. He freaked out when I thanked him and gave me more advice. I was like, all right, I'm learning here. <laughs>